Holiday season is over. We ate loads of food, delicious food. We scrolled through our phones and watched videos on our laptop. And now we are back to normal. But everything just doesn't seem as pleasurable as it used to be. Well, if you can relate to this, then this video is perfect for you. You all probably have heard about the term dopamine detox and you have seen your favorite influencer doing a dopamine detox challenge. Well, the paradox thing about this is that they present you those dopamine detox videos in a way that you deplete your own dopamine levels. Therefore, my goal with this video is to give you actual steps how you can actually do a dopamine detox successfully. Personally, I have to say, this is one of the best things that happened to me in the past. The decision to start a dopamine detox. I don't want to be one of those influencers just trying to get clicks and talk about the topic which is popular. But this is actually something I hope you guys actually start doing. Therefore, I will show you step by step how you can do one. But before I start, let me explain you what dopamine actually is. This will help us to understand more why we're actually doing this for and how it can help us to reset our brain and become successful. So dopamine is the hormone which is being released in our body which makes us feel good. Therefore, it's also called the feel good or pleasure hormone. And we can release this in many different ways. Like for example, when we eat something tasty, when we scroll through our phone, when we have sex or or also when we take drugs. And this is a huge problem because this is also the reason why there's addiction out there. People who are addicted are actually addicted to the feeling of dopamine and they just did one thing over and over again because it gave them dopamine at some point. For example, if someone doesn't feel good and he grabs a glass of alcohol, then dopamine is being released. And then he realizes when he drinks alcohol, he just feels better. Therefore, some people or the people who get addicted go again, again after this, after the glass of alcohol, because they know they will feel good again. But the sad thing about it is that after some time, we won't get any dopamine from the same thing and will deplete our dopamine levels. And therefore, a dopamine detox is perfect for this. And this doesn't mean that if you aren't addicted to something, a dopamine detox isn't helpful for you. I actually don't hope that you're addicted to anything. But these days, I think almost everybody hasn't optimized his dopamine levels, which helps him to do the right things in his life and actually achieve his goals. Therefore, a dopamine detox is helpful for anyone in today's generation who has a phone, who has access to enough food and who has access to consume anything. Because anything can make you addictive and trigger your dopamine release. Great, and now I don't even want to talk more about what dopamine actually is and why a dopamine detox is helpful. Now I want to talk about the first step which will help us to actually do one. Now the very first thing I recommend you to do is to stop listening to your music all the time. I know this might sound a bit weird and impossible for you to do and this is exactly what I thought as well. But the thing is, when we listen to our favorite music, then dopamine is being released. And back in the days, I very often listened to my favorite music all the time. Therefore, a little bit of dopamine was released all the time and this led to me depleting my dopamine levels. Therefore, I stopped listening to music for some time. And yes, I even stopped listening to music whilst working out. Many of you guys out there are now gonna think, oh my gosh, I won't be able to have a good workout without any music. And I can tell you guys, I thought the exact same thing. And yes, I'm totally honest with you guys right now. The first few workouts weren't as good as they used to be. But over time, it will become normal for you. And then you can actually start implementing music in your workouts every now and then again and it won't be bad for you. This is actually when the gambling strategy comes into its place. The people who go into the casino and gamble become addictive to gambling because they win every now and then. They don't win every time, but they know if they keep going, they again will win after some time. And we can actually use the same principle for things that we want to be consistent with. So every time before a workout, you can flip a coin, which will decide whether you can listen to music during your workout or you can't. And this will lead to this gambling strategy, which actually is very helpful to stay consistent and also to keep your dopamine levels in check. Great, and then moving on to the second thing, the second step which will help you to make a successful dopamine detox, and it is to eat healthy and nutritious food. 
I know this sounds like fitness advice and someone who just wants to help you to build muscle. And of course, eating healthy and nutritious food will help you to optimize your overall health. But it's actually very helpful for your hormonal levels and to get your dopamine in check. Because these days, everybody is eating sugar and desserts all of the time. And they don't even get a flash from sugar anymore. And when they eat a fruit, they don't think it's sweet at all. And this is a huge problem. Therefore, for some time, we should very strictly only eat healthy and nutritious food and then after some time we can start implementing fruits or also a little piece of chocolate because then you will actually appreciate the sweetness of those foods but when you're eating this stuff all the time then you won't appreciate it anymore and you will actually get numb to the sweetness i mean people who are only eating healthy and nutritious food when they bite into an apple they think it's extremely sweet it's like a dessert for them and this is actually also the point where we should get at. In nature, there are sweet stuff, things which will help us for our sweet cravings. We shouldn't rely on food which is processed. It's everything out there which our body needs to be healthy and strong. And at the end of the day, this should be the goal for everyone. Great, and then moving on to the third thing, which is to not use your phone in the morning. I know this sounds like a cliche sentence, that you shouldn't look at your phone the very first thing in the morning. But let me explain you why it's actually so helpful or harmful if you do it. When we look at it from an evolutionary standing point, we only got dopamine once we worked very hard for something. Like for example, when we find it against the animal and we're able to kill it and then eat it with our family. We need the drive to actually go out there and hunt the animal. Without this drive, we would never get up and actually go for this. And these days, it's so easy to get dopamine. We can get dopamine by just scrolling through our phone. It's so easy available. Therefore, we need to be strategic with it. And we actually need to time it when we can release dopamine to actually be productive and get up and do things. And by not using our phone the first thing in the morning, we actually can do this. I personally think it's not bad at all to be at your phone at night and maybe even before going to sleep because then the day is ending and you don't need to do anything anymore but in the morning you should want to keep your dopamine for later in the day otherwise when you already release dopamine whilst you're in bed why should you even then get up and go out there and do anything because your body feels like you've already achieved something and this is actually how i want you guys to think about dopamine it's all about the late gratification doing things now that you don't like doing so that your future self feels better. This is how our body used to work back in the cage days and our body hasn't changed much. And because most people these days aren't living like this anymore, I think it totally makes sense that more people get depressed these days. So if you are able to reset your mind and actually start structuring those things, then you will be able to actually live a happy and fulfilling life whilst achieving your dreams. Because you will be the guy who gets up in the morning and gets the things done he actually wants to get done and which gets him to where he wants to get in life. Now I really hope that you start doing those things and not just skip to the next YouTube video and get some more dopamine. And because you've watched this video till the end, I actually think you have the discipline and willpower to do it. So keep this momentum and you will get it. Then I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, please like and subscribe and then see you in the next one.